Hey there, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Showtime. Um, it's time for almost the entire family to go to work or to school. Um, you can also work hard. Um, and, you know, the kids obviously have to go to school, the adults go to work. And now it's all Keith all alone, so maybe he just has to go somewhere else. He could visit them. Visit them. You can do that. Maybe he just doesn't want to be alone at home right now. Although he's alone now. He does enjoy being a... Oh, maybe he just enjoys that right now. Uh, you know what? Then stay here. You can clean this up. I think there are plenty of things here to clean or to repair. Hold on. You also have to go to school. Don't... She can't go to school. Um... Well, that's annoying. <laughs> Dang it. Um, I want her to go to school, though. Uh, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try to change her outfit or her career outfit, and I hope this works. We'll see. Oh, yeah, that looks wrong. Um, <laughs> hold on. Uh, I mean, obviously, she goes in with her everyday outfit to school, but what could she... I mean, this is kind of cute, um, but maybe that's why it doesn't work, because the outfit was corrupted. I don't know. Let's just try this again. No, it still doesn't work. Okay, then I think I have to save and reload with a mod to help this out, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna save and reload the game. Okay, let's try this again. Um, let's see if I remember how to do this. So uh, um, I put in the debug enabler mod and if I go to options, map phone, and now I could try fix invisible sims, but I think what works the thing that works is why it is it sim uh, over there and then fix home world and that it should show one issue, at least one. Oh, it still has to load the game, I guess. <laughs> oh no, it didn't do any. Oh, there it is. Wait. Um, yeah, fix home world corrected one. Okay. Um, also, fix invisible sims might work. Let me see though if it works now. Now it works. Perfect. Um, so, just meet new friends. You can do that. And so she's off to work. She still might be in time, I think. I'm not sure. And Keith can clean up in the meantime. Oh, and by the way, but now I have to turn off the headlines. Uh, so hide headline effects on. Cool. Um, by the way, um, so I think Keith will just clean up the house and enjoy this time alone now that the entire... Not that he didn't enjoy his time with the kiddos when they were home and they were toddlers. By the way, there's a mod I want to try out, but I don't know. I should have done that while Brooke or, you know, the twins were still toddlers because now there aren't any toddlers. But um, because there's a toddler, toddlers can sit on someone's lap, uh, either an adult or even a child's lap. And I think this could be very cute. But I did let, um, so before Brad and Grace went to bed, they did have a risky woohoo in the shower. They also woohooed in this morning, but that wasn't risky. So there might be a chance that she's pregnant, although I don't think so. But now I am thinking that sh they might get another baby. And he also had the wish to have a baby with Grace. She just had the wish to have a baby and to have five babies. Um, but I clicked it away because I was like, no, I don't want them to have another baby. And I kind of regret it, and I also kind of regret that I didn't do it earlier, but now I'm like, oh, it would be so cute if they had another kid. Um, so we just, I don't know, maybe she is. Maybe I'm going to try later again, but um, I don't know yet. Oh, hold on, you can work hard, um, work late on your homework here as well. And they work hard, I hope. And yeah, so I'm just going to try to find um, things for Keith to do. Uh, I think over here might be... Um, no, that's fine. I think he already repaired that. Okay, never mind. That's clean. Usually there's always something that uh, they could do over there. Um, that's also... No, you can empty. Although maybe try to clean. Or not try, but... That wasn't that dirty. I thought it was dirty. Maybe dirty. I think maybe someone cleaned it. I don't know. What about the toilet? Okay, you can unclog that and then empty uh, the, the party over here. Also, I was thinking, oh, by the way, this is um, Brooke's new room. I was thinking about switching it because we have those two bedrooms over there. And those two bedrooms have bathrooms. So it doesn't make sense that there is another bathroom closer to those two bedrooms that have their own bathrooms. Um, but yeah, I think um, I wanted to switch it, but I just let it be, you know, as it was. So she still has, maybe in the future I might switch it. So that this will the bathroom for those two rooms and this becomes another, you know, another bedroom. But I don't know yet because those, I um, I decided that Grace, uh, Joey will stay in the bedroom. Um, that was her nursery. 
and that's how it I actually like her bedroom um, I can pull up the walls over here so I actually like this wallpaper a lot or this pattern and that's just uh, Miles room and I also thought maybe Miles doesn't want that big of a room or he doesn't need a big room so he also got like a bathroom attached to his room as well so that they don't have to share a bathroom although uh, Joey just has a bathtub she doesn't have a shower which is kind of annoying but she can still use the shower in this bathroom and you know what I think I will just let him bake a little bit more so maybe he can make all the peanut butter cookies and maybe also bake uh, oatmeal cookies so that he just keeps baking and oh um, last night after I ended the video you know before they went to bed because there was still time left before they had to go to bed what is that oh I thought that has something to do that he wanted to become a singer or something like that because obviously he never I don't think he ever wanted to become a singer um, but he did bake together with Brooke so Brooke used that uh, oven to bake a muffin and he baked over here I think he um, made sourdough bread and yeah I thought I actually made a video maybe I'm gonna overlay that um, where they baked together I thought that was very cute oh I forgot they are on their field trip but I think her performance is a bit better. It's it's still terrible, but not as bad. Oh, when did she come over, you guys? It's raining though, so maybe don't play outside in the rain. But irresistible greet, no, but just greet her and or invite her inside. And I mean, he's her brother's daughter-in-law, I think. Not sure. Oh, by the way, because I just saw that, um, she's faithful to Brad and also Brad, obviously, to her. Isn't this adorable how they're faithful to each other? Oh, and I think she will get a raise. Cool. I mean, he... No, he doesn't. Okay, but so, I mean, she does. Well, that's cool. Didn't he have a boost on, like, her... No, she had the boost. Never mind. Awesome, Grace. I was actually thinking about letting her to go to the park so she could, um you know, invite over the next ranked chess opponent, but it's raining, so I think I might invite let her invite her over um, to her home if that works. It might work, that just has to be um, a, um, a chess table on the lot. Why does the couple let them out so, you know, over there and not over here? Same with the bus, bus um, or maybe because of the ice cream truck, I don't know. But Grace, hold on, scold, oh, I think because of the... Um, because their grades are still terrible. It's because their grades, I think, are not because they skipped school. Because if you look at this, it's like got in trouble from the, uh, bad grades. And same with her from bad grades. Um, oh, no. Um, but she, I mean, she didn't get into trouble again. Oh, because her grades aren't that bad anymore. Awesome. So you just do homework with Miles, I um, would suggest. So you just help him out. I don't know. For some reason, she her performance is just better. She started doing her homework uh, the last night after Miles and still had a better progress on him. She got further along than he did. Also, now in school, she was, you know, she's way better than him. Wait. Yeah, she's better than him. I don't know. Don't really get that. Oh, and he's from, wait, privileged. from I don't know. I thought maybe he got into timeout again. Um, and Grace, wait, where are you? over here um just quickly change your outfit to your every day and then go inside because is it raining still yeah okay then just go inside and invite over the raid call sim invite yeah it works cool so she can do that oh although she might need to wait two minutes <laughs> maybe it still works because now it's 3 p.m it might work and brett could maybe follow up with a patient after he's done reading the medical journal Oh, I think she's coming this time. Cool. Uh, I want you now. I am revoking your computer privileges. Oh no, that's um to to males or not? I thought it was was you know that she um want her opponent, but I don't know. But does she come though? No, that's Brooke. Brooke, you know what? You can do your homework as well. Did I mention Brooke? By the way, met someone at school. Um, wait. Where is who's this? Ah, oh, Lawrence. Um, Spring Morello. That's the kid she met. There's another kid, and Marie Ella. Oh yeah, how cute. I mean, I think she knows her because she was in the same household as her. Maybe that's why. Because I think when they visited, she was still a baby, so she couldn't have interacted with her. Also, not with um. She also didn't interact with Lawrence. They just played together, but it doesn't help their relationship. 
Now I don't know if this works at this person, if Donna, I think, uh, I think it is Donna if she actually comes over. Um, otherwise I will just gonna try again later, but you just uh, answer your phone and then read the medical journal and then well, no, try again if it doesn't work. It's kind of cool how she's reading it in, you know, in the dining room or the dining area when where the ki her kids are doing their homework. But I don't know, they have a reading nook, so she could also read there as well. But this looks kind of cool how, you know, she's reading and they're doing their homework. I mean, imagine if Brad was sitting there as well. I mean, he is in the living room, but not reading in the reading nook they have, I think. Oh, he's done reading anyways. Oh, you know what? If you're done, then just more... Uh, no, wait, where is it? Is it called Sim? No, it's follow up with the patient and make house call. Oh, and they're friends. Uh, but Keith, you can use the bathroom very quickly. Go use the toilet. And she's reading the medical journal. And I think, hold on. I want to see if the, no, play chess with. I don't think she's here, no. Um, then just perform job. And I'm going to try again. Call Sim, invite over next rank chess opponent. Oh, did you grab a cookie? I mean, someone has to eat it because they have way too many. Oh, I didn't put it away in the fridge. You know what? Wait, hold on. Let me put it in the fridge. Are you already there? No, I think he's still on his way. You know, you just invite her over and then in the meantime you could maybe read. And I think for that I'm just going to place the trust table inside because obviously they don't have to read. Um, uh, wait, you can go here. Obviously, they don't have to read outside uh, and not uh, read. Obviously, they don't have to play chess outside in the rain. So I'm just going to place that inside somewhere. Going to find out where though. Maybe in the living room. I don't know. Okay, but uh, Grace, you can just start a jam session. Oh, you know what he could do once he's done with his homework? How, f how much wrong? How much percent? 90 percent. He could invite over Brayden. So Brayden could get his keyboard and they could play all together. Okay, Brad, um, you could just friendly introduction. You know what, I'm just gonna let Grace do that as well. I'm not sure if that chess thing works out. Maybe she could try again the next day when it's hopefully not raining. But I think I'm just gonna let her follow up with the patient, make house cool as well. Um, oh, look at that. This is weird. Okay, and uh, now just wait, where is it? Where is it? Is that someone else? Oh yeah, it is someone else. <laughs> Never mind. Um, whoa, what a house. Oh, now that I'm seeing it though, I think I was, um, I might have wanted to, you know, have the wedding here and transform this to a wedding venue. But there's something that kind of made me change my mind or why I prefer the other one. I don't know what. No, maybe because too many sims were living here. I don't know. But where is the sim he needs to wait? Grace performed job. I can't find him though. Wait, listen to accusation. What? I'll come over. Awesome. Hold on. Don't be rude to him. Wait, is that him? No, that's not him. Wait, where is his patient? Oh, is that his patient? Yeah, I think. Wait. I guess so. Um, so you just friendly. Yeah, it is. Uh, maybe I should have checked that before, but friendly. Oh, maybe I already said hi, so just a follow up exam. And she's playing. And wait, is Brayden already here? No, I don't think so. Otherwise, there would be this house would show up there. But I think that he already is, so you can just um, invite him inside. And does Keith have the keyboard? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I think Brad might still have it, or Grace. Who has it? Oh, Grace has it. Okay, then uh, Keith. Oh, it's over. Cool. Then I think you can just go home. And Keith, you just go. Why can't I let him go there? Hold on. You just go here. And then give gift to Brayden. Oh, look at this. And he likes that. I think Keith ha has the best relationship to him. <gasps> Hold on. What is going on? Listen to insult. Don't insult your grandpa after he gave you a present. This is rude. But now I can't, I'm done. I wait. Because I'm not sure there's enough space in here. So we're just going to place that over outside. And I want him to... Hold on, I thought Joey is jamming already. Joey, what are you doing? Jam? Oh, she's over there though. 
Hold on, I want you all to play in the living room, but maybe there's just not enough space, so maybe just go there. Joey, you go here, because I think she just goes wherever there's... Oh, maybe he should start, and she should uh, just join Star Jam. And I hope they can ask um, him to join as well. Oh no, be nice. Let me see, though, if she can join him. I think I have to wait a little bit longer. By the way, maybe I should switch to her for a moment, just so that she can do her follow-up exam. Oh, look! Oh, biscuit! Oh, how cute! Um, Wait, it seems to be open. It's an interesting house. I like the balcony. Okay, let's go find whoever she has to do the follow-up. Oh, him. Um, So just friendly introduction and give follow-up. And you join a uh, jam session. Oh, wait, let me quickly switch to them. Because I want to see... Wait, where is Brayden though now? Do I have to... Where is he? Hold on, where are you? Oh, over there. Let's see. Ask to join jam. Awesome. And you know what? Because I don't know what to do with Brad, so I think I'm just going to let him talk to um, Francesco. Oh, but she does more than Brad did. I think Brad just... Um, but I, I mean, I didn't show it in this video. But uh, in another video where he did a follow up, and it seemed like he just chatted to the patient and then gave him like a prescri uh, prescription. So you just go home and. Oh, that's not what I wanted him to play. <laughs> but I think it's still cool. But look at them play together because I think they could. I'm not sure if they can do that as teenage teenagers, but as adults, they could form a band. And I think she couldn't do that while also being in a different career. So she can be, you know, um, a singer and be in a band. So I think that would be very cool if they could just form a band, uh, those cousins together, maybe with someone else. And um, also because Brad is talking to Francesco, I had the idea for a st uh, uh, Joey's storyline that she kind of doesn't really want to be friends with or that she wants to be friends with the popular kids maybe at school so she wants to become friends with Bianca maybe someone else and the cute guys that I don't know who that is yet um and so she kind of ignores or doesn't want to hang out anymore with um Lance and doesn't see what a great friend he is until she, they are adults or young adults um, but I'm going to talk about that more because um, I'm also basing this or getting this inspiration from a movie. But I'm not quite sure what the title is. It's, it's that um, 30, uh, 13 ongoing 30. I don't know. You might know which, talk, uh, what, which movie I'm talking about. Uh, where there's that teenage girl who wants to be, you know, part of the cool group or the uh, cool clique is that the word i don't know but she wants to be you know friends with the cool kids and so she is kind of upset with her best friends and so their friendship just pulls apart and then as an adult she realizes how much she you know that she actually wants to be friends with him and you know how much she actually loves him so i think i'm gonna take that storyline or that idea for joey um i think I'm, maybe i might talk more about this in other videos okay but that's basically i so it basically a uh, plan, plan maybe she might hang out with a lance one more time and they might get you know, they see each other in school he also aged up that's him right now um so they obviously see each other in school um but wait i'm gonna keep keep it on play obviously they see each other in school so we could pretend they still talk a little bit but maybe maybe their relationship just suffers so she doesn't really want to hang out with him that much anymore and so we, maybe they could meet up one more time where they kind of where she's like a diva to him and it's like requested a compliment and um feels like she's better than him and so he's just over it and also doesn't maybe because of that doesn't really want to you know follow after her even though he likes her too or he actually likes her and maybe he has a crush on her and she just doesn't feel the same way right now and as a young adult, maybe because he is in another relationship, she becomes jealous and wants him back, basically, as a friend, and maybe even more. Um, and yeah, that's my storyline. So she won't be hanging out that much with Lance anymore as a teen, uh, but hopefully more when once they become uh, young adults. Uh, but Jam, yeah. Hold on, now I need interactions for the adults, though. <laughs> um, I mean, you could romantic give her a kiss very good. Oh, it's already very late. Oopsie. Um, yeah, I mean, you could be right. I want him to change his outfit, though. Special. Oh, because I clicked on Joey. <laughs> I was like, wait, why is she a diva? Uh, wait, change outfit into your formal wear. Should they maybe go, like, on a date and eat out? 
you know, out in a restaurant. Maybe I'm gonna do that. Hold on. Um, restaurant. Um, not eat outside because it's still raining, I think. But eat here with others and with bread. So that they have kind of like a date. And maybe they also have a few drinks. So that they... Oh, crap. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Joey, wait. I'm gonna quickly change that into her different... I think she has another um, um, formal outfit. Wait, basic outfit and formal too. Yeah, I think that's better. Um, so maybe they also have a bit of, you know, a few drinks while they're... That makes sense now that they're going on a date eating at a restaurant which they don't do that often and then have maybe a few drinks so they might go you know mm, yeah be a bit more risky in the bathroom oh look at them this is so cool how they're pl like how they're playing together this is so cool maybe i should also take like screen oh no not that video but take screenshots of them so cool actually though i want to wait i want to see if i can switch to him attraction attractive from gussy up oh, i think he feels attractive interesting um you just stop i hope i don't ruin the um jam session right now but i'm gonna put that into her inventory and now you join jam session so that he actually plays with a keyboard oh but i like the idea that they just have a few drinks too many and i mean maybe they could also get some real drinks but i think we're just gonna pretend they have a few drinks over here maybe they're just not used to it anymore um so that they just have a few drinks too much and so because of that they aren't careful later on and we'll see if that happens because i don't know i think she, grace just doesn't get as uh, pregnant as easily than her sister for i don't know for her oh look she's watching them for her sister i actually didn't really want her to get pregnant and she still did and um grace i mean i also don't really but want her to get pregnant but i also kind of do and look they're still romantic to each other kenneth alistair has been Renewing his affections towards partner Jeremy Alistair. Oh, this is so adorable. Uh, Keith, what's going on with you? Are you hungry? Who is behaving inappropriately? I don't know, but you can eat lobster. Uh, I mean, he has so many pies and I don't know what. Cupcake, banana, green pie, spaghetti. Eat the spaghetti. Oh, I completely forgot that. She oh, she did her homework. Oh, Brooke, you're awesome. Uh, but you know what? You could have uh, dinner together with your grandpa and maybe the teens as well oh, i still need them to get a bigger table <laughs> dang it um when your fruit arrives it isn't what you what you're ordered uh do you currently send it back or keep it and eat it up eat it up and maybe because of that um the restaurant also offers them you know a round of drinks so maybe they get a round of drinks be, um from the restaurant and so you can also eat leftover spaghetti and you as well so that you don't have to go to bed um hungry oh look at this i hope there are i hope there are enough servings left though oh and she's eating outside are you kidding hold on you just quickly go here and i'm gonna place that because i think i don't know there are certain meals where it just works because i think she can still eat that yeah so you just sit down here and joey where are you going oh i want you oh there, i think there aren't any left um oh yeah you know what then just grab a piece of um apple pie i don't know maybe he has to cook some you know some dinner uh, you know dinner again and also breakfast so that they have waffles and don't have to eat all that sweet stuff um but okay oh look at, at this and then now wait oh okay but she's eating it anyways okay so brooke now you can eat as well and same for you keith oh look how beautiful this is so this family they are having dinner together while grace and brett are on their date at the restaurant and having too many drinks which just assume that i mean they there is the and the sims they there is a the mood lot when they are actually drunk when they have a bit too much juice but um obviously they don't have the mood lit right now because they didn't actually oh he wasn't hungry because they didn't actually drink juice um but i think after that everyone can just go to bed um, and he can take a shower the next morning, Keith, and but go to bed. Um, same for the teens and kids. And you just go here with Grace. By the way, how old is he? Wait, I want to I'm, how I click on, uh, click, you know, hover the mouse over him to see how old he is. It doesn't work that way. Uh, I think that's supposed to be 24, uh, 94 days. Strong, Keith. That's great. 
uh, I mean, he didn't destroy, I mean, that's awful to say, but Brooke's uh, birthday wasn't destroyed as the twins was, or ruined. When some band, oh, I like that, you know what, you can do that. And you know what, I'm quickly gonna replace that rock with another one. I just don't know which one. Maybe that one. Nah, I don't really like it. Also, this is kind of weird over here. I think, or I think I might have noticed that recently when um, I, you know, if you look like that, the wall is kind of odd. I don't know. I, I don't know. T recently, I think I realized that when editing a video and I haven't r uh, noticed that before. Um, but so maybe like that and I'm just going to do it more like this. That's not, I think that's okay. Like that. Oh no, it's losing a little bit of the rug over there. Maybe like that. Just so there is something. Okay, great. And then maybe give him a heat of the moment kiss. And then a risky woohoo with Brad. Imagine if he rejects her now. Obviously not. Oh, how cute. And they're still in love. They're faithful to each other. And I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe I see you in the next video where we find out. Oh, that was weird. Find out if uh, she's pregnant or not. I don't think so though. But we'll see. Bye.